Hello. This video is on orders of uh, integers modulo m. Um, the name order is overloaded with meaning and maybe to distinguish with um, other possibilities um, um, it's better to call them multiplicative orders but for short I'll be just calling them orders. The idea is um, quite generic. Uh, let's imagine that we have a system where we can multiply and where we have um, element 1 and let's take uh, some other element and let's start collecting its powers so just iterate multiplication on it we can treat uh, 1 as the zeroth power then it is the first power then uh, the square the cube the fourth and so on um, if we have a finite number of elements to multiply through um, if um, this multiplication system is finite then sooner or later we'll have a repetition so let's imagine this uh, repetition uh, which appears first time so some power coincides with some smaller power we'll call it power m so in, in, yeah it is inevitable if the um, number of different answers is finite so we have an equation x to the n is equal to x to the m and um, yeah we can assume that the first power is larger than the second so that is what uh, what um, what is to happen in general inevitably now let's assume that x is invertible that in our multiplication system we can divide by it and so we can take this equation and divide or multiply by x inverse uh, as many times as the power on the right. And uh, that will just um, cancel out this term, we'll turn it into 1. And on the left we will have um, the power n without m. So what we will have is impossibility of this situation in the case of uh, an invertible base x. Uh, instead, um, the first coincidence must be between some power and the beginning of the list. So this is schematically uh, looking like that. For invertible x, the only possibility is cycling up. So there will be, if we call this power k, uh, there will be the shortest, the first cycle, the first repetition will look like that. And that first power which is equal to 1 is called the order. So the order of x in this multiplication system is well, the minimum of powers greater than 0 which are equal to 1. So that is a generic definition which works in all multiplication system. Uh, we will be interested in integers more than. It is finite on the end elements and so whatever integer we take and start computing powers we'll have to um, have this behavior this looping behavior and if we'll take an invertible integer which is just an integer which is co-prime to m then we can be sure that there will be some power which is equal to one some power of x which is congruent to one and um, this order um, very often denoted this way. So it is multiplicative order of x modulo n, which is just uh, the same thing as in general. It's the smallest power uh, such that it is equal to 1, and in our world of congruences in this multiplication system, it means congruence to 1 more than. So that is the um, uh, basic definition. And um, so the first basic fact about it is um, to assume that we have a, 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 an equation x to some power l is equal to 1. Then the order of that x, the smallest power, has to divide this l. 
it's easy to convince yourself in this fact. I will just give a very short, um, again, number theoretic uh, argument. So just to write L as a multiple of this order, we'll call it O, so some multiple plus the remainder. We always can do it. It is always possible uh, for integers. You can treat them as, a, as natural numbers. Even. And then uh, we can be sure that the remainder will be less than, than the divisor, than this order O. And then look what happens uh, with the powers. So then the power L, which is uh, 1 given, uh, can be rewritten as the power of the order to the power Q times uh, the power, which is R. This is 1. This is 1 by the definition of the order, so that has to be 1. But since um, R is less than O, R has to be 0. And that is just saying that uh, the order divides in, in this um, exponent L neatly. So with this fact, we can be sure that um, Euler's theorem um, says that the order, multiplicative order, a modular n of any number, which is invertible, uh, divides the Euler's function. And that is useful, um, so we can um, look in for possible uh, for, for, for answers, we can look first through possibilities, and the possibilities are inevitably divisors of the Euler's function of n. But um, we can uh, do even better, so let, let's look at what Chinese reminder theorem says. Yeah, in, um, uh, the special case would be Fermat saying that the order modulate prime always divides the Euler's function of the prime, which is p minus 1. Uh, in general, um, the Euler's function is computed by breaking n into the product of um, primes, powers of primes, and then evaluating Euler's function on each of such power separately, and then taking the product of values. Um, the um, um, strictification of this uh, consequence of Euler's theorem comes from Chinese remainder theorem. which um, says that the order modular, the composite modulus, say m times n, of anything, um, is equal to the least common multiple of the orders modular factors. And in particular, that number divides the least common multiple of Euler's functions of m and n. That is better than the product, least common multiple is very often uh, way smaller than the product, and that is an improvement. So let's see how can we argue um, this fact. And um, yeah, let's just unpack the um, definition. So the uh, order is the smallest k which um, which power is congruent to one modular uh, composite modulus. The Chinese remainder theorem says that instead of this we can write two congruences which are modulus smaller moduli and easier to solve. So these two are equivalent. Now if we look at, 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 this, at, at them um, um, separately, uh, the first happens when k is a multiple of the order, so the order modular m of x has to divide k. And the second uh, similarly happens when the order modular n of x divides k. And that has to happen simultaneously, and we're looking for the smallest solution. So that would be the least. Um, k will have to be the least such, divisible by both, and that's called this common multiple. So we are done. and. Um, continue in the next video with examples of order computations. See you later.